Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Jurassic Park on location at Red Bar in Louisville today. This was created by Stern Pinball. Uh, please look for a written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. There you'll find all of our written out metrics, likes, dislikes, etc., etc. for your easy reading. Beyond that, please click subscribe now, like, and follow us. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, who doesn't love Jurassic Park? The nostalgia factor of Jurassic Park is there. I think that everyone in their childhood has seen a Jurassic Park movie. And likewise, obviously, with that being said, there is a high value of this game for nostalgia for people. Traditional this setup on this old. game, flipper gap's not too bad. Traditional end lanes to the left right, X lanes to the left right. Free flipper setup. I will say there's uh, two dead man shots on this game. One of them being the balls right off the back of that truck right there. If you hit those and it actually flat lines, it'll come straight down the middle. The other one is the orbit going around to the third flipper. That is actually lined up right through, uh, right down the middle. So just be aware of those shots. As you see, going past the truck, there's a lane that goes to your pop bumper to the back. Third flipper skill shot will go up and have a trail to your left end lane. Well, and there's another dead man shot right there. Tyrannosaurus right shot. So there's actually three there on this game so far. Playfield looks great. Modes are to the middle. Uh, you're obviously going through Jurassic Park on this game. I wish there were some more character shares on this. But other than that, the gameplay is very, very good. There you go. You got your Tyrannosaurus Rex that have a trail to your left end lane. LCD uh, cinema graphics look good on this game. Soundtrack is there too, callouts are there. Seems to have pretty much all the clips, even the cinema graphics. And the theme song are on this, which is even better. Uh, room ready. Right ramp above third flipper actually exits uh, to your play field, which is very unique. I actually like that a lot. Right there, exits to your third flipper. Let's go into the raptor cage. That exits to your left, comes out to your left flipper. And so now the cage is down. So it says rescue to the left of that. Right there. So now you lock your ball. So it says spell chaos. So two more rescues, obviously, from the LCD. You keep saying dodging. Beautiful you game. I mean, it, a lot of people gave a lot of heat on the art on Jurassic Park uh, as far as the cabinets, uh, the trans light. Uh, what I will say is my thought process here Restore is power. I think it's got its place in Jurassic Park. I think it looks decent. It does not It does not go back to the can as far as Jurassic Park. It doesn't look like it's exactly what it would be, but it's not bad. I do like the flow of this game. It's open to the front of the table. You have a lot of shots to the left and to the back of the game, which is a traditional setup for a pinball machine. But the other thing is obviously with uh, the designer of this game, speed and play have a lot to do with it as well as flow. And I will say this game has flow to it and it has shots, which is even better. The shots and the flow count and this one has it. There you go. So you got your rescue lane there with the spinner goes back to your pop bumpers and or to your, to your orbit to the third flipper. Oh, goodness. There we go. There's rescue. There we go. center. Check. Three, two, one. Beautiful so far. Replayability on Jurassic Park is actually really high. I mean, I actually do love the layout of this game. It's working for me right now. Sometimes you just kind of fill a game right off the bat. And Jurassic Park definitely has the shots on it. I also see it being a high scoring game too. Uh, obviously, as you see, the bonuses and stuff are in the millions. So you could stack points on this and multiply it out pretty quick. Replayability is there. 
theme is Jurassic Park. Who the hell doesn't like Jurassic Park? If you don't like dinosaurs, I mean, I feel bad for you. T-Rex Chase. So this game has shots, it has flow. Fun factor is obviously there. It's very interactive. It gets you into the game, which is what a lot of people have talked about. The table mechanics are actually set up very, very well. There we go. There we go. Shoot the sand trap targets. And if you see the camera moving, it's because I'm shaking the table just a little bit. I try not to. I try not to move the table when I'm shooting a video, and that means I fall out quicker, and my scores could be a lot lower. Uh, but sometimes you just gotta shake it. It's just a habit. There we go. So we're getting our shots in right now on the rescue. Not too shabby. Yeah, man, this is a fun game. I love it. Looks good, sounds good, plays good. Would I keep this game for home use only? You know what? I, if I love dinosaurs, I would absolutely buy this game. It's got the shots to keep it. So definitely check this out. Jurassic Park by Stern Pinball. Must play. Uh, Rec Bar Louisville, Kentucky has it on the floor. So check it out. Again, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. Signing off. Thank you again for watching today.